Welcome back to Alpha Tactics. So we've done a video on this gun before. We've gotten a pretty fair amount of views. It's the Ruger SFAR. So there's been a lot of debate back and forth online on you know how how accurate this gun is and how it performs as far as other guns. And you know I can't really hold a candle for it for other guns because there are obviously AR-10s out there that are going to be far more accurate than this, this one. Um, but for the price point and kind of the whole aspect of it is the weight reduction and it does do a great job about that it's the lightest ar-10 that i've messed with but how accurate is it and would you consider using this even the 16 inch barrel to be specific if we don't have the 20 inch here would you consider using this as your primary hunting setup so we'll try to figure that out today so what we've got is arms core uh 308 147 grain, just a normal full metal jacket. And then we've got some expensive stuff. The good old Federal Premium uh, Terminal Ascent. Um, these are gonna be 175 grain. So quite a bit, you know, jump of grain right there. And I wanna say the muzzle velocity on this one's gonna be 2600 straight out of the muzzle. And then if this one says it, probably not probably not looking to be as fast though but lighter grain bullet maybe it is maybe we can put that somewhere on the screen right here so you can see it on that we bought what they had they didn't yeah. hardly have anything so good luck with that woods but anyway that's just what we have local so and we don't shop for ammo at walmart because walmart hates people that like guns so got anyways i'm gonna start off with the cheap ammo um this is z road for our buddy Dalton's hunting rounds, and I believe he does use Federal um, or Winchester Super X. It's one or the other. But he's got it zero and got it feeling good for that ammo. And maybe we can get a good little test <laughs> and see if we can replicate that and try to get some decent groups out of this. And if we can't, then, well, that's also there for test. So I'm gonna load this mag up and we'll get started. All right, so full transparency. Um, we're, we're shooting with the Vortex Strike Eagle 4 to 24 by 50. It's a great scope. Uh, it is a little bit lower on the price point for some of your bigger scopes, but still a good scope using Vortex Picatinny mount here. And also, I don't think it's going to change the specs of it too much, but for full transparency, like I said, the brake on here is not the factory brake. That is a brake for the... I think it's one of J-Max suppressors, I forget. But anyways, it's a suppressor, it's a bright force suppressor that our buddy Dalton got and we're just waiting on because you know, the government owns owns all of us. And we gotta do everything to their consent. But we've got a target up, it's about or around 100 yards away. Just wanna see if we can try to get somewhat good grouping out of this and see if we can try to prove anybody wrong on Reddit that hates this gun. So let's find out. I uh, seen a little straight of that one, kind of a little high and left. We're gonna pull another one off, aiming at the same spot. Pretty sure that one was high and right. But we are shooting with the cheaper ammo first, so we'll find out what the difference is between the two. We want to get at the same spot. Not quite sure on that one, can't see it. And I got one more left on the cheap ammo. Let's go check it out. All right, so here's our four hits. Now, of course, I'm aiming at the X center mass and we're hitting a little high. Now, to be fair, this is very lightweight ammo, so it's gonna hit a little high from what it should. Um, and it's very, very cheap. A dollar around maybe in this market that's extremely cheap for 308 so and i'm not a pro shooter i'm sure some of this is me as well but to get your most realistic kind of you know more relatable uh aspect out of it that's what you're looking at at the super cheap stuff so 
let's see if we can make this paper a little bit more secure <laughs> it wasn't waving when i was shooting at it but now it's getting it pretty good but we'll just start with that other high grade ammo see if we can do better hey, how many people you think skip through all that talking at the beginning just to get to this part up next we get old two dollars and like 10 cents around the federal premium i think these should do better i'm gonna try to be as steel as i can be just to get the most fair test out of it like with the other ones so i'm not perfect i'm not a professional shooter i'd like to try to get that way one day but that takes a little bit of money to try to train with some of them guys so we'll see if i can do any kind of service to the filler to people on youtube if i can find the target all right we're hot. Going after. Do it again. And one more time. All right, let's go try it out. All right, so this is definitely better. And I would also relay some of this back on me because I think I did move a little bit on one of them. But better grouping, I will say that much, versus that other one. So, I mean, I almost stacked these right here. So that shot was identical. Again, I'm aiming at the X. So I don't know if maybe the scope is off by that much. I don't want to mess with it because it's deer season and our buddy that let us borrow the gun is going to use the gun for deer season and he says he's happy with the groups that are shooting i don't know what ammo he's shooting i'll have to find that out i'd like to do another test with this gun in a later video because we have a vice now but i have to build a platform to mount it on and make it do right and all but um that'll be interesting we do several different guns with that one but for what we have i think if you're choosing this gun to go on your hunting trip with it um obviously you know depending on if you want 16 inch or a 20 inch barrel that's going to help you with your accuracy and speed of your bullet so and how far you're going to be shooting i would say this right here is pretty ideal for uh the most distances that people hunt at so just for a good you know relatable comparison right here i'm no better than most of you guys on here that are shooting and you know, i'm not a professional so this is one way to look at it maybe adjust that scope a little bit you know like I said, I don't know. I didn't sight this one in. I just wanted to come out here and do somewhat of an accuracy test because I know people are saying that it's way off and you're having these huge differences. But honestly, I think if you're aiming right here on a deer, you're probably still going to hit a pretty critical spot right there. No problem and drop the deer. So, well, just for kind of a closure on it, Alan decided to squeeze the trigger off on a few and definitely got a better group out of it. Made an adjustment, came down a little bit. So I do believe it's just a scope. But... I think we should still see a little bit better than a two and a half inch grouping right here. But I guess for all intents and purposes, a 16 inch barrel at 100 yards and 308, you're not getting the max powder burn out of that bullet. So it's, but you're still getting enough. So I don't know. I mean, I guess if you can look at it how you want to, forming your own opinion. That's what this whole is about anyway. I would say if you're hunting with it, just taking it out to the woods to drop a deer, I think you're going to be fine. I think that you're not going to have an issue hitting a vital organ on this. So not enough grouping but if you're out here trying to beat somebody in competitive shooting i probably wouldn't grab the regress if they are thank you guys for watching we appreciate your support we'll see you in the next one